Hey everyone, with the recent announcement of the Surface 3, I thought it'd be really cool to compare the Surface Pro 3 with the Surface 3 and the Surface 2 with Windows RT. Alright, so first of all what I'd like to do is compare the sizes of these three tablets. Okay, so here you can see the Surface Pro 3, the Surface 3, and the Surface 2. Here you can see the size difference between the Surface Pro 3 and the Surface 3. Okay, so the other cool thing to know is that the Surface 3 and the Surface 2 have different screen sizes, but they're close enough that you can actually get away with using the old type cover on the Surface 3. So, so let me show you what that looks like. So this is the Surface 2 type cover, and this is the Surface 3. And of course, it is compatible. And when you close it, it's definitely not exactly the same size. There's a little bit left up over here, and it kind of, and it hangs off the edges just a little bit. But you know what? I would say this is actually passable. And this is actually the power cover, so it's, you see it's a little thick. By the way, the power cover doesn't charge the Surface 3, so that's something to note. If you, you know, don't buy a power cover expecting extra juice for the Surface 3, because the connectors don't even exist at the bottom of the Surface 3, so that, that won't work. So the biggest difference between these three tablets is actually probably the fact that the Surface 2 runs Windows RT, whereas both the Surface Pro 3 and the Surface 3 runs the full version of Windows. So basically what that means is that you can install any program on the Surface 3 and Surface Pro 3, but with the Windows RT, you can install only what's in the Windows Store. Another big difference that the Surface 3 has is that it uses a micro USB port. Both the Surface Pro 3 and the Surface 2 uses a proprietary charger that are actually different from each other. So each of these three tablets have different chargers, but I think the micro USB charger on the Surface 3 is actually a huge benefit. Not only can you use a bunch of chargers that are already out there for phones and other tablets, but you can also use one of these, a portable battery pack, okay? So I'm gonna show you really quick. Uh, portable battery packs are great. I use it with my phone all the time. And now I'm super excited because I can use it with my Surface. So if my Surface is dead, I can go ahead and plug it in and immediately uh, it will start charging up. So that is awesome because basically what that means is that I can have my Surface in my backpack. I can have it in my bag and it can be charging while it's in my bag. Okay, that is absolutely cool. Okay, finally, uh, something that I thought would be fun to try is what if I shut it all down, so all these have been shut down, and turn them all on at the same time, how long does it take to boot up from a shutdown state? Okay, so... Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any buddies to help me press buttons, so I'm gonna try and do this. I'm gonna try and line up the power buttons. You see the Surface 2, the power buttons on that side. The Surface 3. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna press all of these at the same time. Oop. All right, one, two, three, press. Let's see what happens. Oh. Let's see. Oh, Surface 3 is the winner. Interesting. Wow. And then the Surface 2. Wow. Surface 3. I'm impressed. Surface Pro 3. What's going on? There it goes. And uh, by the way, I should say, you know, I'm actually running Windows 10 Preview on this. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But wow, I'm impressed the Surface 3 actually started up faster than the Surface 2, which I was not expecting. So there you go. Pretty cool. Okay, so some of the other points of comparisons are that the Surface Pro 3 has this magnetic kind of bridge. And the Surface 3 has that same magnetic bridge as well, but the Surface 2 does not have that special kind of rigid keyboard uh, capability. Uh, also, the Surface 3 and the Surface Pro 3 
uses the same uh, pen so you can actually uh, use the same pen on both the Surface 3 and the Surface Pro 3 but it does not work on the Surface 2 so, so that's really nice what I love most about the Surface Pro 3 is the ability to use the pen uh, and to open OneNote and the fact that I can do that on the Surface 3 is a humongous benefit I think I think to me that is one of the killer features of the Surface 3 is that it has the ability to use the pen. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to show was the difference in the kickstands. Okay, so in the Surface 2, you've got two modes, one and two. Okay, and then of course in the closed position. The Surface 3 has the closed position, the first position, the second position, and the third position which makes it really nice now the surface pro 3 kind of wins it all in this because it has an infinite number of positions that's continuously adjustable all the way to a very shallow angle uh, so definitely the, the Surface Pro 3 wins over here. There we go, that was my video on the Surface Pro 3 versus the Surface 3 versus the Surface 2. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like this video and do check out my channel for a bunch more Surface videos, tips and tricks. And also do stay tuned because my tips and tricks for this guy is coming. And let me tell you, you will not want to miss that video because it will blow your mind. Alright, thank you very much for watching.